So just the other day, my family and I were on a road trip from Illinois to Texas. The reason? Because my family and I are now going to live in Texas, and as I speak to you now, I'm on Texas soil. This part of the Salvation Army campground is actually the set of The Chosen. And you can see behind me where we actually filmed the Sermon on the Mount from season two. Now, at one point on our trip, we stopped at a Chick-fil-A in Joplin, Missouri, because we like things that are awesome, and I happened to be recognized by a woman who worked there. She was in her 80s, and after sharing her thoughts on the show, she said, I did whatever that word is you call it, where you watch all the episodes at one time. And I said, binge? She said, yeah, I binged it. I binged Jesus, like you say. Now, what struck me about what she said is it reminded me that the common use of the term binge is relatively new. For most of this woman's life, she never even had the opportunity to watch many episodes of a show back to back. And for most of her life, binge has actually had a negative connotation. If you look up binge in a dictionary, you'll probably see some form of the phrase excessive indulgence or to indulge to excess. It's usually associated with alcohol or unhealthy food and even the popular use of the term now with TV isn't always a good thing. In short, it's usually a compulsion. But like most words, just because it's usually associated with something bad doesn't mean it's inherently bad. So when I found myself binge-watching a bunch of shows a few years ago with my wife Amanda, I thought, why has there never been a multi-season show about Jesus? If so many other shows can be bingeable, including shows that aren't exactly healthy, why can't a show about Jesus be bingeable? Doesn't Jesus deserve a binge-worthy show? I actually said those words multiple times to my wife, and maybe to myself out loud. It's, it's, it's how I process. So thankfully, when we first launched The Chosen, we noticed that people who watched the show became pretty passionate about it. And sure enough, binge watched it, often repeatedly. In fact, some people watched it dozens of times. And we thought, this is really a case where binging is a good thing. If you're going to excessively indulge in anything, if you're going to binge anything, it should be Jesus, right? Of course, when it's Jesus, it's never excessive, but you get the point. And that's when we started saying binge Jesus on social media. And it stuck, and it became a call to action for many people. Of course, this phrase isn't just about the show. There's way more to Jesus and his teachings and his impact than what's in our show, obviously. Binge Jesus is a fun phrase associated with The Chosen, but this is just a TV show. What's really cool is what we're hearing over and over, literally every day from people all over the world, that their compulsion, their excessive indulgence, is with more than the show. That they're reading their Bibles more than ever, and that they're more passionate about God than ever before. For example, Mark on Facebook said, Thanks, guys, for making this accessible for me. I am back on reading my Bible because the story that you created here is amazing and colorful, and especially it catches my curiosity. Shandy1964 on Instagram said, Since watching The Chosen, a light was lit. I decided to go back to church. I am talking to God again, either spoken or written in my journal. That's what Binge Jesus is really all about, and why you're seeing it on clothing and as a hashtag on social media. Now, I'm going to be upfront with you. Yes, the sales of Binge Jesus stuff like shirts and hoodies and hats and whatnot go towards our show, whether it's for our marketing efforts and personnel or for future episodes and seasons. It's an obvious need in our desire to reach a billion people with the authentic Jesus. But there are many ways to satisfy that need. What we love about this specific initiative, this specific phrase, is that more than almost any other messaging we've used, it turns heads and starts conversations, either online or in person. For example, Barbara on Facebook told us, Blessed beyond measure this morning when a lady saw my Binge Jesus shirt in a store and asked me about it. She asked where I got it, and I pointed to the title of the show and asked, Have you seen The Chosen? She hadn't. Led to a big discussion about how wonderful it is and how you can download the app, which we did in her phone right there in the store. Now that's cool, of course, but more than anything else, for us, this phrase has far more depth and meaning than just a fun call to action. These two words together say so much, and they represent quite a bit of what The Chosen is all about. So I hope you'll continue to binge Jesus in far more ways than just the show, and that you'll encourage others to do the same.